Well done. I hear you broke into some kind of warehouse. Yeah, one crawling with bandits. Hmm, well, looks like the mission was a success, at any rate. Of course it was. Then, like I said, well done. Quite a crowd outside. Here's some advice. If someone's after you, run off and hide in the crowds. <laughs> I had a lovely time talking with Seren. Your travels sound so interesting. Hmm? Seren, what have you been telling her? Oh, wouldn't you like to know? Well, too bad. My lips are sealed. Honestly. I guess it's time you went home. I'll see you off. Yeah, that makes sense. Is everything okay? Um, before I go, there's a place I'd really like you to take me. Now? It's the middle of the night. I know, but it's somewhere really special to me. This might be the last time I can ever sneak out of my home. So I must go there. I have to. Please, Zale. Before returning home, Lisa convinced Zale to visit the place so special to her. And so together, they went to Stargazer's Tower. It's beautiful. This is the light of the dead land. And all those stars are the light of life. They're exact opposites, but they both have the same glow. This is my special place. I remember my mother standing here. And my father was here giving me a piggyback. My mother and father both passed away when I was very young. So, I don't have that many memories of the time we spent together. But for some reason, I still vividly remember coming here with them. Wow. It's amazing. They call it a meteor shower. My father taught me that when we came here together. There was another meteor shower then. Now that I think about it, I've seen one before too. When I was a kid, it's been a long time since I've thought about those days. What are those? They're lenses. They're a memento of my dad. He used them to look up at the sky. Like this. <gasps> <gasps> mm. 
Would you like to see my lucky star? Find the goddess statue to the left. That's right. Then look for the blue star she's pointing to. That one? Yes. My star should be just above the blue one. Yes, that's it. They call it the Twin Swans. Isn't that two stars? Well, yes, but it's what they mean. They're stars that can change your destiny. What's your lucky star? That one, maybe? That star represents someone who's kind to everyone, but a tiny bit indecisive. What? Really? <laughs> I don't know why, but I've suddenly remembered something. What is it? What song is that? My mother always used to sing it to me. I think there are words to it as well. But I was small, so I don't remember them. Zale, tell me what your dream is. My dream? Hmm. Won't you tell me? Well, I do have one, but... Don't laugh at me. I won't laugh at you. I promise. My dream is to be a knight. A knight? Yeah. Why a knight, of all things? My village got burnt to the ground in the war. That's how I lost my mum and dad. There was no one to protect us. That's why. What about you, Lisa? What's your dream? I don't know. I guess I'd like to travel the world. I'm thoroughly sick of being stuck at home all the time. I'm a prisoner of my own life. Sounds to me like people are just concerned about your safety. How would you like it, Zale? A life where you aren't permitted to go outside? Well... 
I know what you're going to say. I know that the world isn't all good. I understand that. But I want to see the world for what it is, good and bad. I don't want to be ignorant. Zael? Hmm? Would you take me away with you? Anywhere, right now. What? <laughs> Just pulling your leg. Bet I had you going. <sighs> Lisa? Oh, I just wanted to say it. I'll go straight home, like I promised, so don't you worry. Thank you so much for today. Lisa disappeared into the hustle and bustle of the city. Zale stood and watched as she walked away, and he suddenly felt cold and alone like a wonderful dream had come to an end. He made his way back to the tavern. Welcome back. Where's the girl? She went home. And you're okay with that? Never see her again? What choice did I have? Yes, I feel sorry for her. But there's nothing I can do. Our next job should be confirmed tonight. We'll talk about it tomorrow. It's getting pretty late. You should sleep. We've got our new orders. What is it this time? I'm sick of fighting those lizard things. We're doing guard duty at Lazarus Castle. A bit more appealing, eh? Not bad. The Count's throwing a ball. He's invited all the cities rich and powerful, and they don't have the manpower to cover it. <laughs> I bet there'll be some classy drinks on offer. We're heading off as soon as you're all ready. Got that? Cool, eh? Sounds fun. No one will mind if I take a few little hors d'oeuvres, right? I wonder if the castle has a library. I do love visiting libraries. But I suspect I wouldn't be allowed. A ball? That takes me back a bit. I haven't been part of that world for years, mind, but I still remember. Guard duty? Sounds boring. Hopefully I can just stand outside on my own. <laughs> 